In this video, we're going to look at factoring quadratic expressions as the difference of two squares. If we start off now with a set of double brackets, I'm going to have x plus 6 and x minus 6. If I went ahead and expanded this, I'd have x multiplied by x, which would give me x squared. I'd have x multiplied by minus 6, which would give me minus 6x. I'd have positive 6 multiplied by x, which would give me plus 6x. And finally, positive 6 and minus 6, that would be minus 36. If we consider now these two terms in the middle, they are going to cancel out. Therefore, we've got x squared minus 36. x squared is a square number. We've got 36, which is a square number. And now we have the subtraction, which is going to be now our difference. So what we would look to do now is spot if we could factor a quadratic expression as the difference of two squares. So if we had, for example, now x squared minus 25, x squared is a square number, 25 is a square number, and now we have our difference. So we could write that this would be x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 5. If you were unsure, go ahead and expand it out. You'll get x squared minus 5x plus 5x minus 25, and the terms in x would cancel. Let's look at another one. 4x squared minus 9. 4x squared is a square number, 9 is a square number, and we have now the difference. So we can write this as 2x plus 3 multiplied by 2x minus 3. So just consider, if we had now 2x and we squared that, we'd have 4x squared. So if I had now the expression 4x squared minus 9, this could be factored as the difference of squares as 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3. If we looked at another one, let's say we had now a squared minus b squared. Well, this is a square number, this is a square number, and we have a difference. Therefore, we could write this as a plus b, and then we'd have a minus b. So... If you are now spotting the difference of squares, we could factor this quadratic expression into the two brackets. Let's look at another one. Let's say we have 9x squared, and then we will have now minus, and we'll go for minus 25y squared. 9x squared is a square number. 25y squared is a number, and we have the difference. So we can write this now as 3x plus 5y, and then we'd have now 3x minus 5y. Again, if you're unsure, expand that out and you'll see you'll get 9x squared and you're going to have minus 25y squared. As when we have 15xy, which will be negative, then we'll have another positive 15xy, which will cancel out. So all we're doing is spotting the difference of two squares and we can go ahead and factor those as we've just seen. 